Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. I have two cars here. Most of you are probably familiar with it. This is the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. And um, AFX released two versions of the same car. So this car uh, was the represented the early part of the first half of the car's life. And this car represents the second half of the car's life. Uh, at least part of it. And um, I bought several of the each when they first came out um this car came out in 17 this car came out in 19 and each car they only made 3,000 I don't know how many cars they make normally make um say like a, a GT40 Mach 2 or something like that I don't know how many they produced of each so um if you know leave a note down below but um I bought several of each and then uh, it was around Christmas time, and uh, I was a member of a Facebook Facebook waffle group. And something, I don't know, I was talking to one of the members, and um, his profile picture showed him in his military uniform. And I'm a big supporter of our U.S. military and the vets. Um, I wanted to do something for those guys, kind of a thank you for your service and uh, a Merry Christmas and all that stuff. So um, I put a note and a message and I said, if you are a military veteran or, you know, a active military or um, send me a note and um, I have something for you. So several guys reached out and this is what they got. Um, I actually saw one of the guys that I haven't heard from or seen since I sent him the card. He sent me a little thank you note. Um, I just saw him on one of the slot car groups that I belong to on Facebook. And lo and behold, the car was sitting right center stage um, on his layout. So that was, I assume it was the car that I sent him. So that was really cool. So what I want to know from you guys is I bought these two cars because I wanted to build back up the part of my stash that I had given away. Um, but they were also, out of 3,000 cars of each, um, both were very low production numbers. Um, out of 3,000 cars, let's see, this one, so this was built January 2019, and this is car number 70. And then this one, December of 2017, car number 91. So do you think that a car, do you think that the lower production numbers mean anything? Um, in the resale market, uh, down the road, uh, you know, say 10 or 15, 20 years from now, um, are the low production numbers going to be worth more to, uh, to a collector, um, or not, not worth more? Uh, we'll know when the time comes, but what do you think right now? And, um, would you go out of your way or pay a little extra for a low production number? Um, or does it not mean anything to you? So I was just curious about that, and um, but I was really happy to get these. I ordered these Friday night, and uh, they came all the way from, I was surprised. I didn't know where the guy was, what state he was in. But when I came out on the porch, less than 48 hours later um, this afternoon, I saw a box, and I didn't order I'm like, I didn't order anything, um, unless it was coming from Amazon. And they're, you, know, you know an Amazon box when you see it. But these came all the way from uh, California. Sent, the guy sent them first class Saturday morning, and they came all the way from California. So apparently the Postal Service is using uh, their air service to move freight fast um, for the holidays and just get it to where it's got to go. So I was really happy about that. So that's those two cars. Just uh, wondering what you thought about those. Oh, the other thing. Do you think that, like, if, like, serious collectors, maybe you are a serious collector, um, do, like, scratches not deep scratches but just like uh marks on the package is that a turn off for you or is that a, a deal breaker just wonder it's not for me i was just wondering like you know somebody took the price tag and scraped it off so there's you know the front of the package is boogered up uh, i don't think 20 years down the road if somebody's been looking for this car um that they're going to worry about that I, I know i have a couple of the primus cars in the cubes um same thing somebody peeled the stickers off of them but uh those other cubes don't look perfect. Those I really like to see. The uh, the cubes look good. Um, most of the cars, all the cars that come in cubes, I like the, the at least the plastic, the clear part, to be um, in perfect condition. You're close to perfect. So uh, real quick, I'll just talk to you about this. I um, I've been ordering these decals uh, from this guy on Facebook. 
Um, I'll put his username down below. His name is Rick Goldman. He's, uh, he's down in Florida. And um, so I contacted him and I'm buying a bunch of these uh, small decals. I'm going to do two packages, um, two groups uh, of the small decals for your pit box. And there's all different kinds. The original Magna Traction logo, Tyco logos, um, you name it. There's a whole bunch. Auto World, Golf. Um, but I'm going to do two packages of those. And uh, I'll give away those over on the Facebook group. It's a brand new group. There's only a handful of members. But all you have to do is go over to uh, Slot Siders, HO Slot Cars, over on Facebook. Join the group and leave some sort of slot car related comment or just a hello. And um, you could, uh, I could possibly draw your name. And uh, if I do, I'll send you the decal pack of these, uh, these smaller decals for your pit box or whatever you want to put them on. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you're watching the video and you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get a notification uh, every time I upload new content. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Stay safe. Happy holidays. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.